Club Call Barony is a 16,000 acre wildlife refuge, research reserve, and historic plantation. And it's one of my favorite day trips to recommend to those looking to relax on the south end of the Grand Strand. In addition to forest areas, endangered species, protected beaches, marshlands, and old rice and indigo fields, Hob Call Barony is home to 37 structures on the National Historic Registry, including Hob Call House and Friendfield Village, a 19th century slave village. While reservations are required, the public can take guided bus tours of the property. The tours last about two hours and are filled with fascinating and often surprising bits of history. We are in the middle of the Longleaf Pine Forest at Hobcaw Barony. Uh, Hobcaw is 16,000 acres of preserved land. We have virtually every habitat that you can find on the coast of South Carolina here on this property where people come for research. A lot of people like to come to Hobcaw because of the nature that we have, but more importantly, they like to come because of the history, the visitors and the people that own the property. Bernard Barut was a financier, a Wall Street uh, millionaire, and he was also an advisor to seven presidents. He bought the property and he used it as a hunting retreat where he invited politicians, playwrights, publishers. Uh, that included um, Winston Churchill, who was a guest here in 1932, who did some painting and some crabbing on the property. We know that Franklin Roosevelt stayed here for an entire month during the war. And anybody who was a who's who of the 20th century uh, would have been a visitor here at Hobcall Barony. Other programs at Hobcall Barony include guided photography workshops, bird watching tours, and kayaking tours. But no matter how you choose to explore these protected lands, a visit to Hobcall Barony is one of the best ways to connect with the spirit of the South Carolina Lowcountry.